Okay, the solution for day 54, the file, CSV file, so it's already there and sitting there. We just need to read that in. So let's start by importing our CSV library. Now, surprisingly, CSVs are common in the world. Um, it really depends on what your life experience is, but if you've worked in any kind of office environment or sort of uh, knowledge um, generation environment at all, CSV files are always constantly coming in with data in. So it's a great library really to for those day-to-day, -day, those, those real world applications. So I'm gonna set my total to be zero. Uh, actually, it's gonna be a 0.0 because it's gonna be a float with open. Now, what is my file called? Let's have a look. Day 54 totals. CSV as file. Interestingly, you can use this syntax where it's opening a file normally. There's nothing CSV unique about this, um, interestingly. Uh, my reader, I'm gonna use my dictionary reader actually because they've got headings at the top for row reader let's not bother printing anything out let's just add to the total total plus equals the float version of row and what was my heading let's have a look back in that file my heading was quantity so i'm going to copy that just so i've got the spelling and capitalization perfect so i'm going to add that together at the end do an f string here and hopefully that should work perfectly well there we go that was quite an easy one in the end